Vicky here with you and uh, I saw Cindy Lope, uh, Cindy Utter um, do a get to know me uh, it's a hashtag event on YouTube and I thought it'd be kind of nice because I also have been getting a lot of new subscribers and I'm not sure that everybody knows about me a lot uh, some of you might have gone through um, my blog and read some stuff on me or, or on my Facebook pages or whatever but not everybody knows me so I thought you know these um, there's actually 34 questions so I thought those would be uh, great uh, ideas for you guys to know me so hopefully you'll like this um, so the first question what's your name well my name is Vicky and uh, my last name is Fortier so if in case you don't know who crafting Vicky is it's Vicky Fortier what's your nickname I don't really have one some people call me Vic but there's hardly any uh, so I don't really have a nickname when is your birthday December 14th so I'm Sagittarius and very proud of it uh, what are your three favorite colors my favorite colors in my house uh, are mostly green and uh, some yellow but I also really really love purple what are your three favorite quotes um, one of them I've used on my Facebook page and it's uh, and I think actually on YouTube as well it's don't dream your life live your dreams so really love that uh, you will never know until you try I do tell that a lot to my kids because uh, I want them to try new things and you're stronger than you think uh, so that I also think is very uh, very true and uh, important what is your favorite show TV YouTube movie well my favorite show I don't really watch TV um, I, but when I do it's the Big Bang Theory I really love those guys I'm married to an engineer so yeah I can relate to uh, a lot of uh, what's going on in there but I but when it was live I also loved Sex and the City uh, I love all the clothes uh, the fashion the shoes uh, all of that uh, my favorite movies would be uh, the Wizard of Oz and the Sound of Music always love those and whenever there were reruns on the TV I'd be watching them and for YouTube, well, it's pretty much anything that's craft related. I just love it. And I've been looking at a lot of the um, channel that YouTube actually suggests to me and uh, finding a lot of new ones. And I love to learn new things, so it's, it's a great source. What's your dream? I would love to learn how to draw and be better at it. So this is a work in progress. Um, I don't do a lot of my own drawings and stuff in my makes and that is something that I would like to be able to do more of and another thing that I would love to be able to do is to get my hobby to uh, pay for itself because basically I'm thinking right now it's all good because I'm actually working full-time but eventually I won't and um, I do get a lot of supplies do I need all of those probably not so I would, could probably you know uh, scale down but uh, I would love for for what I make to at least be able to pay the paints and stuff like that because I know that once I get retired there won't be as much money so it'd be good if uh, my some some of those costs uh, were paid so yeah that's one thing why I'm I'm trying to make my Etsy store um, you know a bit bigger um, do you wear makeup well I do wear a bit of makeup when especially when I go to work uh, I usually put a bit of eyeliner and some mascara and that's pretty much it I try putting foundation and stuff like that but I just found that it made me feel like I was wearing a mask and uh, my skin needs to breathe so I can't I can't stand it I did wear a bit of blush before but that too it just annoys me so I don't uh, tend to wear a lot of makeup what makes you cry well as I get older I would say a lot of things make me cry now I get very very sentimental um, if I see anything sentimental I start crying um, and sometimes now even hearing a song will make me think of people that I'm missing and then I'll start bawling um, and another thing that makes me cry but that really upsets me and I wish I didn't do that um, it's when I get angry I really I end up crying uh, because my frustration gets built up so much that I can't seem to be able to get it out of myself and uh, it ends up being tears which really sucks if uh, you get really hangry at work it's not a good thing uh, what makes you angry well in general 
uh, bigot really 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 get me mad um, I think everybody's entitled to their own opinion and nobody should be shoving down other people's throat their opinion and you should be able to listen to other people's opinion and it doesn't mean that it's going to change yours but you need to be able to be open-minded enough to hear it and not judge them and and just let it be and uh, there's a lot of people that don't do that and that really makes me angry what makes you happy well here my kids talk to each other uh, when they're not arguing of course um, I love when when they don't know I'm hearing them uh, and they start talking about childhood memories or what they love about camping or that they love going to camping or whatever and that just makes me really really happy um, I also love having my tape my ta table full of people that I love uh, sharing good food good wine that just loves uh, love it and of course you know crafting that is a given of course that makes me happy what's fangirling I had no clue what the hell fangirling was so I had to google it up and um, what what I found out is basically being a big fan of something um, and to me it would be the stars of crafting and so when I met Dina weekly weekly I, I was you know overwhelmed and I needed pictures and I I got her signature and yeah that that I'm obsessed with with crafting um, icons and uh, so if I would meet Tim Holtz that would be a big big thing for me as well as the wonderful Shannon Green and yes Shannon that you are now part of my group of people that I would you know dream of meeting and being able to take a picture with um, and I would also love uh, to meet somebody like Jenny Belly um, she really inspired me to start junk journaling and uh, she got me into that old craze uh, what are your favorite three favorite snacks well I love chips um, I really do and uh, I try to stay away though I'm pretty good at, at it uh, but I do love um, anything salty basically chips nuts that sort of thing I, I do crave chocolate uh, it will come a time where I really really need my chocolate and I love ice cream bars um, so that probably gets also the ch chocolate craving what are your three favorite foods I do love my seafood that's my number one thing if I go to a restaurant and um, they've got good seafood on the menu that will probably be it I love filet mignon but my filet mignon has to be done rare it has to be like still kind of blue in the in it um, and uh, nothing will get me more upset than a good piece of meat like that uh, too too cooked um, that gets me really really upset and I had one um, I remember when I went to Paris for a weekend with my sister-in-law and uh, we I had ordered that it be saignant so that it, it you know it be uh, it would be bad you know like rare and um, basically it came and it was way overcooked and I couldn't believe that in Paris a restaurant would do that but yeah, I guess so and my third favorite food would be Italian food I just love anything that's Italian food I, I just love their their food anything basically uh, what are your three favorite drinks coffee I love my beer as well and wine and beer it's funny because I hated it before with a passion um, when I was in university and younger and uh, then I discovered the micro breweries and I do love beer but the one not you know the regular Budweiser and Coors and that sort of thing I like beer that tastes uh, a bit more and uh, so I really love those what can you tell uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself at least 10 random facts so um, some of those are probably not new for you guys but some of them might be so I work full-time as an accountant yes uh, you can be crafty and uh, still be an accountant you can have creativity uh, so long as it's not playing with the numbers and messing up the financial statements that's a no-no but other than that yes I'm very creative but, but I'm still an accountant uh, I wanted to become a pediatrician though when I was younger so all the way up to my CJEP which is pre-university here uh, I studied in uh, science so that was a big shock when I went to university in uh, accounting because science is not that precise whereas accounting it has to be debit has to equal credits it's not a it's not an option whereas in science it's plus or minus something so that was a big shock for me uh, another thing is I totally adore Halloween 
Uh, if you've been watching my YouTube, you know that. And Christmas. Those are my favorite holidays. Uh, I didn't want to have any kids. Uh, and I ended up with four. So, hey, this stuff happens. Uh, I just got hooked uh, when I got my first baby. It just, uh, I loved uh, I loved it. And I loved being pregnant and loved holding them and seeing them grow up. And yeah. Now that they're all teenagers though, yee, I'm thinking that maybe I should have stopped. <laughs> Only kidding, I love my kids. Um, I'm allergic to cats, but I have four. So yeah, I'm a bit of a nut. Um, I know it, you can comment on it, but I know. I'm very afraid of spiders. Uh, that is something that I'm working on, however, because um, uh, some of my kids are afraid of spiders as well. So if there's a spider in my house, um, Either one of the cats is going to eat it, or I'm going to have to find a way to squish it. So uh, I'm working on that. But another thing that I'm very afraid of is tight space. So if I have to go in an elevator, I don't feel comfortable. If it's if I'm alone in the elevator, or there's two, well, alone not so good. But if there's two or three people, it's perfect. If it's crammed full of people, I'll get very claustrophobic. Uh, same thing with metro systems. I don't like it when it's too full. I get I feel closed in and it's not good Another thing that I, I, I That you probably don't know about me is I hate going to big social events. I just hate it with a pa passion I feel quite anti-social actually um, my daughter says I'm not but uh, she thinks I'm a social person But I really think I'm not um, I, I, I don't like to be part of a big crowd and to have to go and chat with people uh, that I don't know, I don't feel comfortable about it. Why am I on YouTube? I don't know, probably because I got used to my camera and I feel like I'm talking to my camera. Actually guys, um, I feel that now I know more of you so I feel more comfortable with you guys. Um, but big social event where I don't know people and you're just supposed to be doing small talks that just that's not my my type of thing um, I didn't know that there was so much crafting on the internet until 2012 okay that's a big shocker I was always on the on I was on uh, you uh, on um, I wasn't do doing much YouTube um, but I was doing Facebook I was uh, you know I've been using computers for a long time of time but I never thought of checking out uh, crafting on the internet and in 2012 I was uh, I don't know checking out something that I, I heard about and I stumbled upon all the crafting that there is and uh, that's when I started my blog so my blog has started in the spring of 2012 and um, at the time I started card making and uh, digi coloring that was my biggest biggest thing well actually it was mostly stamping and then it got into digis because I didn't know digis existed either uh, another thing that you guys might know, not know about me is I love playing video games and um, if I love one I get really addicted to it to the point where there were times when when my family like they couldn't get me to do anything because I was obsessed with a video game so uh, one of the things, one of the ones that I really, really loved was Skyrim. Spent hours on that. Uh, right now it's Pokemon Go. Not as much uh, time on it, but let's be honest with the crafting. I'm spending a lot of time on that, so don't have much time for anything else. Uh, another thing that you might not know is I used to wear glasses, but then I was operated so that my um, far vision got uh, fixed, and that's been freaking. 10 years old. Well, actually, it's going to be 12 years, um, actually, that I've been operated. And I love it. But now I'm getting to the age where I'm going to need to, uh, well, actually, I do need, in some uh, cases, to use my reading glass. And I'm miserable. I don't want to be getting old. But that's life, eh? Uh, what are three fun things you like to do? I love to go camping with my family. I've shared uh, some of my uh, camping journals with you guys. I've also shared in some of my blog posts uh, my camping installation and such. I also love going to shows, uh, whether it's a movie, a theater show, that sort of thing, a musical, I love that. And of course, crafting. What a surprise, eh? Um, what best describes where you live? Well, I live in, on the island of Montreal, 
so big city and um, I used to live in the country when I was a kid uh, but I'm definitely not a country girl uh, it's not it's not you know I like going to the country but for a very short amount of time too quiet for me um, I don't like it um, so for walks and stuff fine uh, for camping fine but not uh, but even camping I need to have my electricity and running water uh, what's your crafty style I don't really know uh, I've changed a lot throughout the years and if you've seen my blog uh, you can see the evolution I started off by doing cards I'm now a lot more into mixed media I still do cards but not as much definitely not as much actually um, and I love trying new things so whatever is new I'm gonna try it if I can and I just run out of time actually in the day and um, so what could I say about my crafty style it was probably be that I'm messy uh, even when I was card making measuring was never one of my fort, uh, forte uh, I I usually just eyeball it so yeah and now messy well yeah it's uh, paint all over the place what is your most used crafty tool? Uh, I would have to say probably my scissors because of the fact that I used to be making cards and stuff and I, I fussy cut my image and I use my scissors quite a lot uh, and of course my pens I love my Copic pens and uh, paintbrush and, and so on and so forth now that I do mixed media you know what is your most wish uh, for a crafty tool? I have a lot of crafty tools already uh, one of the things that I'm drooling about and uh, but that I can't get because of the fact that I already have so much supplies and I don't have the space for it is the actually a memory keeper typewriter um, that I would totally adore to be able to get one of those but uh, yeah I don't uh, I don't have the space for it so I don't think it's gonna be happening and uh, but I would love one because it, it's very cool um, what are your favorite craft brand? I like many craft brands. I, I the only the the one I would say is Ranger, just because there's a lot of stuff that I own that is uh, from Ranger because of the fact that I love Tim Holtz, Diane um, uh, Diane Weevely, as well as Dina Weekly, and um, so probably Ranger. But I do love I, I love to uh, use my Tattered Angel sprays. I you know there's there's so many fabulous uh, brands out there so what's your favorite craft I really love journaling right now do you have any pets well yes I've told you before I've got four cats but I also have two dogs and a turtle I used to have a lot more but now it's uh, it's uh, it's a lot less now what's your favorite time to craft well it's on the weekends because uh, mostly when I come back from work at, uh, in the evening I'm, I'm I'm done I can't do anything and I like to do it mostly in the afternoon just because in the morning I'm still taking my coffee and I'm half asleep so that's not a good time do you have a favorite non crafty YouTube channel not really I would say no what's your favorite store well any store that has crafting I just adore and anything that's paper related I'm obsessed obsessed with journals as well as pens and anything to do with paper I just love it What's your favorite restaurants? I don't go a lot to restaurants, so, and it, it really depends on where I'm at. Um, but I do love going to restaurants that have micro breweries in them. Uh, what's your favorite magazine? I love Stampington uh, Journals as well as their Greencraft magazines. I, uh, I think it brings a lot of ideas, so I love that. What's your favorite author? It's kind of hard to say. I do read a lot and different authors, um, but I do love uh, Teen Lit. Um, anything to do with supernatural stuff as well as fantasy, I really love it. What's your favorite time of the year? Well, I used to love fall because of the colors, but now I'm finding that the fact that the, the light goes down uh, it's really affecting my moods and the way I feel, so I don't love it as much. Um, I don't like the dressing up and the bundling up in the winter time. I do love when you go out how crisp the air is and how, you know, that is nice, but I hate bundling up, so that I would say um, is not something that I like. Um, uh, for spring is nice, but it's messy, it's dirty, it's not something that I really love as much, and so I would say that summertime is probably the best one for me. 
um, because I love my pool and camping so that would be the one that I love the most and I think I missed something because there was one that was supposed to be about shoes my flip-flops so anything that anytime that's casual um, and that in the summertime I'm in for my flip-flops all the time except at work of course um, but I do love my high heels and I used to wear them a lot more but uh, I haven't recently so so that's it so now you know more about me um, I will be putting down in my description box below the uh, questions uh, so if you want to try this out then uh, let us know more about you and hopefully you like this uh, don't forget to leave me comments give me a thumbs up if you do like what I do and subscribe if you haven't already bye folks